Well, can COVID-19 affect your mental health? A new study from the University of Oxford in England claims it does. In fact, the, resu the results show that one in three people who survive COVID may have some issues afterwards. To break down what the study discovered, Matt Gregory has tonight's Verify. I spoke with one of the researchers. He said from what they found, COVID-19 doesn't just cause respiratory issues, it can also cause brain issues. What do we know so far about how COVID-19 affects the brain? Our sources are a University of Oxford study. So the purpose of the study was to find out if there were any neurological or psychiatric consequences of having had COVID. Conducted by our other source, Dr. Masood Hussein, a neuroscience expert from the University of Oxford. And we also talked to Dr. Tay Chung, a neuromuscular expert from Johns Hopkins University. To find out how COVID-19 affects the brain, Dr. Hussein and his colleagues looked at more than 230,000 people who survived COVID. The, the headline from that work is that over a third of people had some kind of neurological or psychiatric diagnosis after their COVID diagnosis. You heard that right. Over one third of survivors affected. But how? Dr. Hussein breaks it into two categories. The first is psychiatric issues. 17% of people who had COVID ended up with a diagnosis of an anxiety disorder. Uh, a little less than that ended up with a diagnosis of a mood disorder like depression, 5% had insomnia. The second category is neurological issues. According to the study, a small percentage, about 3% or less, saw instances of strokes or dementia. The most important thing here is that COVID isn't something just that just affects the lungs, um, it also affects the brain. While the study may sound shocking, Dr. Tay Chung says this is actually common. Actually, the, uh, any virus, even just uh, regular flu and com common cold or flu viruses uh, can cause a variety of different uh, neurological issues. Dr. Hussein also pointed out that the psychiatric diagnoses, the anxiety and the mood issues, those were widespread in the population. So people who had mild cases all the way up to severe cases could be diagnosed with these issues. Whereas the neurological issues we were talking about, stroke and dementia, those were mostly seen in the severe COVID sufferers. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.